Gotta feel a little push here. Okay, perfect. Oh. I found you guys through Yelp. But, I mean, you guys were on the top of the list. You guys had amazing five-star reviews. So I was like, why not give them a try? So I reached out and, of course, Dr. Salse pretty much reached out to me right away. And he was very honest, which is what I liked about him. And that's why I came to this place to begin with. Because he was like, oh, if, so if it's something that I cannot help with, then I'll let you know. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be going actually over stretches and exercises that will help with the issue that we've been dealing with, which is the dowager, okay. and try to get more of that posture better in that upper part of your neck. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and show you those after we do the adjustment, okay. how we can get that done for you, okay? Perfect. So I've always had problems with my neck and my shoulders because I was a student and a lot of the work that I did made me hunch over and it really destroyed my posture. We're still a bit low here on the right shoulder. So we're gonna still work on trying to realign that. It got to the point where I got burning sensations throughout my whole upper body. And it got really bad the past three years to the point where I got headaches all the time. I couldn't concentrate, like I would work or study for like at most 30 minutes and then it'll start flaring up again. What we're doing is we're looking at a gravity line right through you, through the shoulder. And as we're looking, we want to see that the shoulder is lining up with the opening in your ear. And we can actually see that you're still forward, probably about an inch. You're coming back with the adjustments, mm -hmm. but we still want to get you even more back. And also my lower back because I slipped on black ice a couple of years ago. And then it got me basically immobile in my own bed so I couldn't turn. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just evaluate your pelvis. And what our goal is, is we're trying to reorient your pelvis so that it's more straight across. Mm -hmm. And so this is what we call lower cross syndrome. And we're going to be reviewing the exercises for that today. Mm -hmm. This is going to have a big impact on your neck because if this part isn't corrected, your neck can't get corrected because it's all kind of interacting together. Um, normally, what we see is there's a bend in the neck like that okay mm -hmm. and you can see how it kind of smoothly goes down yeah. but if our heads are forward look what happens to these bones here see it's how they possible. flare out yeah mm -hmm. so our goal is to work on trying to get you back into that better alignment there and if we can do that then that will reduce that right there i'm going to have you lie face down and rest your head right here The first thing we're going to do is we're just going to check your leg length. So I just want you to take some deep breaths and just try to relax and clear your mind. Your adjustment will go better that way. So let me take a look. So as I'm looking at your leg length in position one and position two, it's perfect. One less thing we have to worry about. All right, now we're going to go ahead and take a look at your spine. And just relax your shoulder. I'm just going to roll you down. You just feel a little bit of a push here. Let this fall. Okay, let this fall a little more. Oh. Take a deep breath and breathe out. And you just feel a bit of pressure right here. All right, now we're going to take care of this one here on your back. I'm just going to put my hand behind you. You're just going to lay on my hand. Okay? okay. So I want you to lift your head, tuck your chin, take a deep breath in, breathe out from me all the way. Here we go. Come on up. All right. So this is called the arthrostim, and you're just going to feel some gentle taps in this area here. We're just going to release the uh, tension that I'm feeling in this area here, and then we'll adjust you right afterwards. So bring your head forward. I want you to bring your head back as far as you can. Go all the way back. There you go. And go down again. All the way down. And bring your shoulders back this way. Just like that. Okay. And drop that one a little bit more. There we go. Now what I want you to do is bring your chin back like we did before. And roll your head back as far as you can. And I want you to hold that position for me. Okay. Bend your knees slightly. 
There you go. Okay. Hold that position. And you're just going to feel some taps going down your spine here. Bring your head down. Okay, come back. All the way. Keep your shoulders back. Come in here and feel a little push here. Okay, great. Now let me check that. All right, we have one more adjustment we're going to do on you. Just take a deep breath and just breathe out. And you feel just a little pull right there. There you go. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and slip this off. Okay, now let's take this out from under your head. And how do you feel? Good. That felt good. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. Now, like within two weeks or three weeks of care, like that changed drastically. But I started weightlifting after what a month and a half of care here, and no problems, no pain, but everything's like good. So I just need to maintain it and prevent it. I think chiropractic care, everyone needs it.